going on fam? A Yin Day back again. Here with my list for my most disappointing most disappointing figures I got this year. Now I was at most first I'm gonna say that this is my list. I understand that this is my list, so don't think that uh this is just across the board, this is my list, so <laughs> Uh, anyway, um, I have to say this again, that most of these figures are not bad. They just, to me, were disappointing. I try to not get every figure. Uh, I only get figures of characters, mostly characters I want or characters I like. So, uh, this year went down to four, so uh, there was a lot of figures that were I knew weren't were going to be all that but you know these are the figures I got that uh, were uh, a little bit more disappointing than others you know disappointed me more than I, I thought they would so with that uh, we're going to get started and like I said this is my list so stay tuned we'll get started and <coughs> be right back so I also like to point out that these some of these figures I did not do a review on because uh, they were so they were kind of disappointing to to me so I also want to add that in so we'll be right back anyway let's get to started. number four is uh, Jean Grey or Phoenix from the uh, X-Men Builder figure the X-Men wave the Juggernaut Builder figure wave anyway <laughs> try not to get long um i always like this look for jean for me this has always been my favorite costume of her so i was gonna get it even though knowing that she would come with these gummy ass legs that's why she doesn't stand not because she has heels them gummy ass legs and so and this body mold is not one of the their better ones i pick you you don't it's okay sometimes it depends on how they do it who they do it with but uh that's not really what the disappointed me with her it was like i said i already knew she was gonna be a problem standing what disappointed me with her was the way they got her head on this on the peg with that the hinge instead of doing it like they did with the uh enchantress and it just looks weird when you do it, stuff like that and so i was just kind of disappointed how her head sits on here so I mean, you get her pose, like, from the front, she doesn't look too bad. But if you want to have her looking down from the side or something, I mean, that's just not good. So, this is why she's number four on my list. So, move to the next person. Number three is the DC Multiverse, DC Comics Multiverse movie version of Deadshot. Now, as I said, uh, I'll talk about that movie more, but... When I came out, I didn't mind uh, Will Smith as Deadshot, even though he had the Will, uh, Will Smith ways. But so I was looking at it. I, I decided to get the figure, and I mean the scope, everything scope-wise. I mean the standard there is fine. It's just the art, the archaic articulation, the ab crunch that doesn't work and only goes back. And you know he doesn't come with any kind of weapons. Like these are. Uh, Weapons I had to give him, so you know his knees don't really. I don't even know if it's double jointed or not. They just it's just uh, their articulation really disappointed me. I, I I was really hesitant. I should have waited until these guys went on sale. That's why, you know. I, I now I just I keep them like this because I just have a dead shot like that. I just have a dead shot, so you know. I mean, it's not a bad figure, but it just everything that's. I just wanted Mattel. I just wanted Mattel to. I just need them to step up their game. So we're gonna move on to number two is the uh, recent uh, Snake Eyes that got released with that two pack with him and Storm Shadow, which I was really, really getting to get that Storm Shadow because, like I said, I missed him when he was single carded. But you know, we all got enough Snake Eyes, so it would just been another Snake Eyes. So I, I wasn't. You know, expecting nothing out of it, but when I get him out of package, he's so loose right there. I mean, it just takes his. It's just so loose right there in the hips. I just don't understand that. 
And they usually don't do, because uh, you know Snake Eyes is their money maker, so they put all the effort in him, and I just, he just, that just, I was so disappointed with that, so wasn't expecting much, but this could have been a, you know, just a, another Snake Eyes had, but him, for him to be so loose like that, I was so just uh, under uh, underwhelmed by this guy, so overly under, I don't know how to explain it, just really disappointed though. Uh, number two is this version of Snake Eyes from that two-pack. And my number one most disappointing figure is the DC Comics Multiverse movie version of Wonder Woman. I, I'm, I'm kind of glad I got her. Um... Uh, got her for like fifteen dollars or something. Cause one, <laughs> I mean that head scope is not even nowhere close to looking like Gal Gadot. And uh, again, you got the arca uh, archaic articulation on this figure. You no know, kind of ab crunch, just a waist swivel. You know, um, I was just very disappointed. I'm a big Wonder Woman fan, and I was finally happy to see her in live action. And, uh, this this figure just very much disappointed me. I'm I'm still waiting to for my pre-order for my uh, Mayfax one. So if that's not gonna come by the end of the uh, by the end of, <laughs> by the by the new year, I'm gonna think I'll order it somewhere else. But uh, anyway, this has been my my list. This is this is my list. So again. Uh, just take that in mind. This is my list. It's, so, um, so thanks guys for watching. I'm working on my top ten figures I got this year. So this year. So stay tuned for that. And thanks guys for watching me this year. <laughs> and I've actually been on here just a year now. So thanks for all the subscribers. And hopefully, uh. uh I want to get even better next year, so I'm working, working on a few things in China, so that's why I haven't been uploading some stuff, so I'm actually working on some more reviews here, so stay tuned for that, and until next time, don't support scalpers. Peace.